We are reliant on bioscience to help tackle global issues such as climate change and human health. The School of Biological Sciences at the University of East Anglia provides graduate and postgraduate courses to give a new generation of scientists the chance to help our planet and our population. We went to UEA to find out more. Bioscience shapes the world we live in. Everything from the antibiotics we take when we're ill to advancements in tackling climate change, the world is constantly evolving. Here at the University of East Anglia, researchers are carrying out pioneering work to address some of today's most pressing scientific challenges. The University's School of Biological Sciences is blessed with world-class facilities. Students from all over the globe have access to state-of-the-art equipment across the full spectrum of biology. It's a vibrant community, conducive to research-led learning. We study research across the whole of the biological sciences, from the smallest microbes through human health to understanding and predicting long-term consequences of climate change. We've got particular strengths in understanding eye disease, finding antibiotics in new places and predicting the effects of global climate change. We think this work is important because it addresses some of the biggest research challenges we have today and we're also interested in educating and inspiring the next generation of scientists to meet these challenges. Life here is very exciting and being in a bio lab is like being at home. There's an opportunity to learn something new every day and it makes you see life in a different perspective. Being a foreigner, I didn't know what to expect coming here, but when I came, uh, I just felt this supportive environment around me. As the all bio lab, we can feel like a huge family, as everyone is kind and pleased. And if you have any questions about any area or subject, we're going to answer it and help you to expand your knowledge. These ants are the oldest known farmers in the world. They've been growing their own food for 60 million years. In the microbiology lab, they're searching for new antibiotics. One of the places they're looking is in the nests of South American leafcutter ants, who've been growing their own food for 60 million years. One of the grand challenges we're addressing here in the School of Biology at UEA is antimicrobial resistance. So this is where bacteria that cause disease in humans are becoming resistant to all of the antibiotics that we have available to treat them. So like 100 years ago, before we had antibiotics, people would die from simple bacterial infections and we're getting to the stage now where people are dying again from bacterial infections because we don't have antibiotics left to treat them. And one of the things we're doing is looking in the nests of leafcutter ants and other unusual places to find new antibiotics so that we can treat drug resistant infections. In the cell and developmental biology lab they examine chick embryos as a model to study development. They're similar to human embryos and the team are investigating what can be extrapolated and applied elsewhere, such as how cells become different from one another, for example how the heart and musculoskeletal system develop. We're all getting older, we live in an ageing population and there are increasing number of degenerative diseases and what we learn in embryos will be relevant in helping avoid those diseases or potentially even cure them. So this is how we mark and track the birds, so you can see this little coloured leg rings on these birds. Mm. Conservation is also integral to what they do here. This professor works with migratory birds to see how they cope with changing environments, particularly in relation to climate change. Migratory birds across the world are having to cope with lots of different changes at the moment, changing climatic conditions, land use and so on. And we're tackling this problem by trying to track birds along those migratory journeys, understand where they go, the types of changing conditions that they experience and what sorts of management we could do to help them cope with those changes. The University of East Anglia School of Biological Sciences, innovative and inclusive, rewarding and pioneering, providing the futuristic sciences we rely on to safeguard our population and our planet. It's exciting, friendly, surprising, unexpected and fulfilling. <laughs>